You ever watch something like a video or a movie that traumatizes you so much that it keeps looping in your head over and over and over again? Well, that's where I am right now with a 1997 children's movie called Jungle Emperor Leo. And yes, this children's movie is in fact traumatizing and disturbing. And I'm going to analyze why and tell you exactly why. Maybe some of you have seen this movie before when you were kids or whatever. It's part of the greater Kimba the White Lion universe. There were a lot of comparisons drawn between Kimba the White Lion and the Lion King with allegations of plagiarism that Lion King ripped off Kimba the White Lion. I'm not going to get into that stuff. There's this YouTube channel, YMS, and he did a very long video that analyzes that entire thing. So if you're interested in that analysis, you should watch this two and a half hour video which talks about it. But he also, in addition to addressing the plagiarism allegations, he actually analyzes the various different Kimba media and he critiques them quite well, actually. And he points out how a lot of the older Kimba shows and things were actually really racist. When I saw this Jungle Emperor Leo, I was really hoping that he would address the problems that I have with that movie, but he actually didn't. He actually kind of liked it. So because of that, I guess I have to discuss this myself. What I find so egregious about this movie is actually the last scene. Let's just watch it together and then we'll analyze it and discuss why it's so awful. Worthless stone! <laughs> You've sacrificed too much for me already. More than I deserve. Yeah. Please, go. While you still have a chance, don't waste your life trying to save mine. Don't feel bad for me. I've had a long and happy life. And at least I'll have died for something I believe in. Understand. <laughs> Why? It's all right. This is my dying wish. You must eat my flesh and clothe yourself with my fur. You must return to the human world and tell them what you know. No, please! No! Please, stay. Come on. Please. Lyra. L Lune. Okay, so this scene is trash. And like, what what bothers me even more is that it's actually intended for children. Now, the violence isn't necessarily what I have an issue with. It's the message behind it. And it's, uh, it's brainwashing kids to believe something that just isn't true. Now, one of the things that YMS said was a theme in the Kimba the White Lion shows is environmentalism. But that's actually not completely correct. It is, in fact, something else called conservationism. Now, conservationism is slightly different because it aims to preserve natural resources for human use. That's the main difference. In other words, environmentalism is about preserving nature as an end unto itself, whereas conservationism is concerned about preserving nature for exploitation by humans. And that's the difference. Kimba the White Lion actually has a conservationism message, not an environmentalism message. So that's something that we need to keep in mind. So in this last scene, Leo provokes this old man to kill him. And then in his dying breath, tells the man to eat his flesh and clothe himself in his fur. Oh, boy. I really hated that message. 
I mean, it, it is the most creepy. It, it makes it makes my blood turn cold, honestly. Because it implies to children that animals give consent to being killed for human benefit when they absolutely do not. Human exploitation of animals to benefit humans is in many ways a necessary evil, but it is evil nonetheless. And it shouldn't be construed that animals are in any way willing participants in our exploitation of them. Even more problematic is that a lion is advancing this message. Lions are animals that we absolutely have no justification in killing ever. They are an endangered species, and we derive nothing useful from killing them. And so it should never be done. But Leo's self-sacrifice to benefit a human is characterized as noble, wise, and brave. Even worse, they characterize it as a sacrifice to save the land, when in actuality, the sacrifice was to save a human. As I said before, environmentalism was never the theme of Kimba's media. It was conservationism. And conservationism is different from environmentalism in that it is concerned with the preservation protection of animals, nature, and environment motivated by human need and benefit rather than a genuine concern for the environment or animals or nature as a goal unto itself. This thing goes on and, you know, of course, the old man feels so sorry about it. He's crying, bawling his eyes out. And that's the writer's way of trying to validate what we just saw. You know, he didn't mean to do it. He, you know, he's self-sacrificing. The old man feels really bad about it. All right, let's watch a little bit more so we can get uh, a good idea of the, the horror <laughs> of this garbage. So, like, I mean, he he did it. Like, he ate his entire body and then clothed himself in his fur to save himself. <laughs> his, his dead body, his dead skin, his fur is just laying right on top of this guy. By the way, this is another recurring theme in Kimba. Like, if you watch this whole thing, like, Kimba's always wearing his dad's dead corpse. And like all these other Kimba things, it's very gross and disturbing. For some reason, the author of this is just has a weird fetish and obsession with that. I don't understand it. Maybe he has necrophilia or something. like but it it couldn't be come here boy you're the white lion's son aren't you <laughs> now can you imagine if you're just like floating down the river on a raft minding your own business and then you see this disgusting old man and your dad's dead skin is just kind of laying there right behind him. Like, would you have the same kind of reaction that Kimba is having right now? Like, would you be, like, unusually chill about the whole thing? Uh, I don't think so. This is gross. Your father was as wise as he was brave. 
And you should know what he did to save the world. He was the most courageous soul I ever met. A true king who gave his life to save the land. So you can see over here, like, his father's dead corpse is just kind of haphazardly thrown over the dude's shoulder, uh, you know, because it's just a dead corpse. Yeah, so uh, the reason why I think this scene is so disturbing, why this movie is such trash, is because of the brainwashing. This is a movie intended for kids, and the we're, this movie is brainwashing kids to think that you know, all this shit that we just saw is actually okay. It's not. <laughs> it's really not. And, like, when you compare this to Lion King, you know, Lion King is, is like, the opposite of this garbage. Like, it, it's actually a celebration of Africa. It, it doesn't have simplistic, pro-human messages. It is... It acknowledges lions killing animals like antelope, but then it talks about how their bodies die and then their bodies fertilize the plants which then the antelope eat, which is part of the circle of life. The, that's, that's the main theme in Lion King. The main theme in Jungle Emperor Leo is a subversive message that killing animals for human benefit is actually consensual on both parties. Animals are consenting to being killed. Now, I'm not necessarily saying it's wrong to kill animals for human benefit, because un like I said, unfortunately, it's a necessary evil. But we should never try to delude ourselves or to brainwash ourselves, whether it's kids or adults. I'm sure even adults are brainwashed by this garbage, into thinking that animals are in any way okay with it, because they're not. Anyway, what do you guys think? Are you as traumatized as I am? Do you think I have a point, or am I just being a little bitch? Let me know in the comments. See ya.